Comcast Sportsnet presents Wizards Basketball tonight live from the MCI Center in Washington, D.C. It's the Washington Wizards and the Seattle Supersonics. Still without Gilbert Arenas, Jerry Stackhouse, Christian Leitner serving game four of a five-game suspension from the league. So everyone must contribute tonight, which means Kwame Brown must be focused. See, that's a very good word, stay focused. There are times when Kwame looks brilliant, as he did uh, a couple times going against Ben Wallace right there. A beautiful move to get by him, his quickness when he faces the basket. But then there are other times when he seems to get lost out there. He has to be focused, he has to be consistent, and play at a high level for a long period of time. As we check our starting lineups tonight, first for the visiting Seattle Supersonics, Brett Perry and Ray Allen start from long range. Richard Lewis, Jerome James, and Vladimir Rotmanovich. Rot the head coach in his fourth season is Mr. Sonic, Nate McMillan. Your Washington Wizards have a to the backboard. Nightmare. And a switch by Eddie Jordan tonight. He'll put Kwame Brown in the middle in place of Brendan Haywood. And start Jarvis Hayes and Jared Jeffries on out west. They lead the all-time series. 58 to 40. And Brent Barry is one of the players to watch out. He does such an excellent job defensively in playing the passing lanes and helping out. Trying to attack the basket, and that's where he's been most effective. Averaging 14 points and nine rebounds on 47% shooting. Ray Allen fade away. That one's in and out. Jarvis Hayes rejected inside. Knight gets it. Great pass to Kwame. Did a good job of kind of hanging in the corner, and we are tied at 16. Good game in Washington. Mm -hmm. Rodmanovich double team now with Kwame, and they steal it away. Hughes for Blake, alley oop for Kwame, he dumps it in. Rashad Lewis never came, which is prevents Lewis from getting an easy two. Well, look how many players they have down. You have a four on two, actually five on two. Somebody has to be aware that was Wizards with their largest lead, 27-18. Kwame, well, he looked like yeah. Butler spins on Allen inside, finds Kwame, and he missed it, but draws a foul. Go to the baseline, draw Calvin Booth, get him up in the air. Now he's got to close out now before Booth can recover. A couple of players on this squad that did not attend college, Kwame Brown and Richard. They'll try it again. Kwame got away with a push. Kwame challenges Patapico, finds Brevin Knight. He'll pull the trigger and hit. Give the assist to Kwame Brown once again. 105-99 win to take the series four games to three for their one and only NBA championship 26 years ago. Look like Larry Kwame Brown. Kwame spinning in the lane, draws a foul, and will. Got him both. Tough shot if that goes. Air ball. Kwame has it. Some points here now. Blake for Dixon, for rather for Kwame, who gets the roll. Running ahead. And he's fouled by Lewin. Jarvis Hayes looking for help. Five to shoot. Thomas from 15. Good. Good shot. But time seems. Hughes a little strong. Tipped away. And Kwame chases it down. Knocked away. And Knight has the steal. <laughs> looking ahead for Kwame inside. Slams it in. That time he handled the pass. Brevin Knight making it happen. 14 points for Kwame Brown, and the fans come to their... Well, we talk about Brevin Knight a yeah. lot lately, and this is why he just makes things happen. And he never gives up on the ball. He's, he's behind the play, comes up with the steal, dishes it off to Kwame for the flush. That's a big play. Their 25th assist. Hughes, Larry, great move inside for Kwame. Once again, handling a difficult victory here would be Washington's 11th on the season. Kwame off the glass. Did a good job to move that ball. And 7 and 10 at home. As one.
Washington evens the season series with Seattle just as they did last.